But do you think an election might be the only way to solve this current issue? Or do you think it solves it? Do you think it makes it worse? I don't think an election now, it'll only make it worse. Because so? the people don't have choice. And when they're thrown into an election, they will have to make a pick bad between one rotter and the other. They don't have real choices. And they don't have real democracy. Mm. Because they have to go through the, this, this proportional representation system, people on a list, and you know, and it doesn't, it's not answerable to you. So election right now will not be the answer. That's why even Bhamini Vijay Singh says, the former editor general, he says, use this opportunity to drive some real changes. And that's why I see uh, Ranil's treachery and betrayal. Because you know, you could have made some fundamental changes. The 21st Amendment, for example, abolished the executive presidency. I know there are some people who say, con now when Marcos had to flee the country, do you call him and tell him, no, Marcos, don't go, because you know, you leave a vacuum. Please stay for 15 months because then I have to make the necessary bills in parliament. When there's a revolution, people up, come up in, you know, anger. The Shah of Iran gets on a plane and goes. Marcos goes. So you don't tell him, I, you don't go, man. You are, there are a constitution crisis, no. What nonsense. So election is not the thing. But use the, the, the need of the people and those discussions that are happening about constitution. Drive some real change, you know. But Peter, without an election, how do you... Because it seems the vote to a party in mm. Parliament mm. seems extremely subservient. Yes. I mean, they don't seem to think independently. There's very few people that are sort of agitating for anything other than what their leader says. Mm. So without an election, how do you get this? Because they're not going to resign. They're not changing how they vote. So how do you get these people... How did Mahinda go? To your question. How did Cabral go? Who would have thought, Kusum? Who Correct. would have thought? It's about He'll extended just pressure. Flee. You know, they fled temple trees massively. They may be, that's the, that is why I said treachery out. and betrayal, because you have given them a chance to come back, but into a rotten parliamentary system. That's why there is hope. But if you go and put back your faith in that rotten system that can bring people back so quickly and sit there and lord over our affairs, the same scoundrels. What kind of democracy is that? And why should people, I'm amazed that people still believe in that. That's why pressure, look at what we have achieved. But that's where you release that pressure with this appointment of Anil and that's, the, that's why I call it betrayal and treachery. But still, the people are going to face immense suffering. Also. Immense. There'll be starvation. So, this won't go away. And that's where we keep the pressure they will be forced to make the changes that they have to make. Even for your negotiations with the IMF, there's going to be treachery again, because they will go and negotiate with the creditors and they will get a better deal. You need a team of people who say the people in the streets are not going to take austerity, because austerity is bad anyway. Because if you have austerity, you are not going to, you're not going to have the growth and the GDP that you want. That's why Varoufakis, former, uh, finance minister of Greece, he went to the IMF and he, with the creditors said, no, we cannot pay you. You take a cut. You bear a cost of, of your bad lending. How do they lend to this country? You are a banker, Kuso. You yeah. cannot lend. So what is this irresponsible lending? You take the part of the hit. Who is going to do this? And you can only do this if you have the backing of the people. You know, and then you go and even those negotiations. Otherwise, you're going to face austerity, more suffering for our people. So you see, it's a, it's an unusual situation. It calls for unusual answers, not put our faith back in the same people who brought us to ruin.